you said at the podcast, as I've told you guys, my name is Tabile Rokomo, and thank you guys for joining us in today's episode. Okay, so firstly, as part of the introduction, can Uma Afike Ashibuti who she is, and then mm-hmm. also describe how you were introduced to Christ, and then the same with Ubaba after Uma Sekakeli. Ah, well, my name is Noma <laughs> Mzobe. Um, how I was introduced to Christ. Um, my mother was saved by the time I was born. Then we've been going to church ever since. But by the time I was like 12, 13 years old, um, I started building my relationship with the Lord. Then I accepted the Lord in 2007. Yes, um, it was the year my great grandmother passed away and I received Jesus Christ on that particular day. Yeah, but my, my, my family is. Is a religious family. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm Tobani Yeah, how I met Christ was in the revival. So I met Christ there, and then I accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Now that you asked that question, you got baptized on the same day. Yeah, let's go. 2008, May 8th. You guys know each other then? No, no but we saw each other on that day. <laughs> and then, did you guys have some sort of relationship throughout the years? Like, Nana Zan and you, no man, Nabo Nan and you, Papela Ganja. We noticed each other. Yeah. I remember what he was wearing. No, <laughs> <laughs> I was very deadly man. Yes. You guys are too young, you won't know those clothing. Um those uh, spirit, it was spirit in yes, color. In color. Mm. Yeah. Sure and, yeah, yeah, you were wearing that white thing. Yeah, the purple robe. Yeah. <laughs> and then how did you guys come together? Like na Nasana Naganjani again after <laughs> It doesn't tell my story well, so I'm gonna do that. Um we met again in 2017. Yes, he was in UKZN and I was in, um, I was transitioning from UKZN to DUT. I had just got a financial aid student in UKZN. And then we had a June 16 conference in our church. Then he came. Okay. And then I went to greet him. And then I told him my story because I knew he was in UKZN. I thought he would relate somehow. And yeah. <laughs> But yeah, a few months later, he called me. <laughs> and initiated a friendship. Yeah. And then, Uma, but was it your intention to, <laughs> to like end up marrying her? No more, you just wanted to be her friend, and it was like. I never wanted to be her friend. <laughs> I wanted to marry her. So I saw her with 2016. <laughs> and I was like, no, I didn't like this girl. Yet. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that's it. I'm for the. So we come from a very traditional church, both of us. It doesn't allow dating or courtship, but I tried my luck. <laughs> so, yeah, as a um, gaju take, as something and those, uh, but a minute before the gathering, yeah. she said no. <laughs> but yeah, I kept on trying, 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 yeah, until. Mm, Actually, she never said she loved me <laughs> until I spoke to her family. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we'd meet and just talk long hours. <laughs> and then she asked me, why are you calling me brother in Christ? And then I was like, no, I want to marry you. And then she never said anything. <laughs> and then from there, I told her pastor, who, who happens to be her brother, that I want to marry her. Mm-hmm. And then that's when she... Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yes. Okay. My second question, okay, we've addressed the second question, which was how did you guys meet? Okay. So, my third icebreaker question or set of questions is which book has Uma Nobaba read that has impacted your journey in terms of you discovering, discovering yourself in Christ? So, a book first, and then second, a role model, and then lastly, a song that that is like ministering to your spirit in the season that you're currently in. So, book, role model, as well as a song. <laughs> I'll let you start. Yeah, okay. Yeah. The books I've read, ne? Maybe just one or two. Okay. <laughs> so, in my singlehood, I 
was dealing with a lot of staff issues, you know. Um, so I used to love Joyce Meyer so much. So there's that book, um, The Battlefield of the Mind. Okay. So I used to read that because it helped me with conquering some issues. And then I also read a book, um, it was Transformation of a Man. Um, I read that one. But um, the book that currently changed my life also is um, the book that is speaking about the court of Hebrew. It's okay. sort of like, um, yeah, it's sort of like a book that teaches you how to pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then obviously my song, or rather the song that blesses my soul and just, um, just helping me these days is, Mother Bongo, the anthem we all know. The anthem by Uwu Sisidobo Zuma Mdobo Zumba Mbo. So, yeah. And the role model is Ubaba uh, Postoli Mtlovu. And his book has also been a blessing. The Abrahamic model book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, for me, it's quite difficult to navigate, but the one book that really first book I read and truly understood and helped me to really establish myself was um, The Power of Prayer and Fasting by Mahesh Chapter. Uh, that book, um, I feel like it's the one book that launched me in, yeah. in Christ. Okay. Um, I learned to pray, I learned to fast, like genuine fasting. You know? yeah. So that's, that's the, definitely the book um, that I can remember, and now mind, I still go back to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and of course the Abrahamic model. Um, my role model. <laughs> oh, my own prophets with job. <laughs> yes. Um, growing up, my role model was my brother, um, Pastor Kong. Um, he still is, but he's a man. <laughs> so. And then when I met my own prophets with job, she's a woman. She's in ministry. She's a prophet. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I mean, I say more. Yeah. So yes, um, one song I love. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, that song gets me all the time. I actually when I cry, my life. <laughs> every time I just see the lyrics and I sing that song, it always takes me to how much God sacrificed mm -hmm. to get me where I am today. So it's a song for all seasons in my life. Then of course, Magabong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, that's the song of the season. Yeah. Yes. Sis, um, what does the blood of Jesus mean to you? Blood of Jesus. Oh yeah. my God, it is the most precious. the most precious thing um, that was there, and yet it was used to get the most unprecious thing <laughs> to get me yeah. in in. Oh, about when the Bible says Sasmel Ukufa. Yeah. We weren't worth anything. Yeah. But God sacrificed the most precious thing yeah. for me. It is oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so the blood of Jesus is 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 definitely Yeah. I think I've 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 I've, I've said yeah. 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 Okay. And Baba when uh, um what does it means to give thanks unto the Lord and what is the weight or the importance of giving thanks unto the Lord? And what does it look like for when? Mm. Yo. Um I think I think giving thanks to the Lord is not an activity for me. Okay. But it is a lifestyle. Yeah. We should live a life that gives thanks to the Lord. I'm just reminded of Romans twelve when he says, Give your body. As living sacrifices, mm -hmm. fully pleasing unto the Lord, holy, um, which is your reasonable service. Yeah. So um, we should live lives that are fully lived unto God, and mm -hmm. it's 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 more than saying something. It's more than giving an alm or an offering or yeah. whatever, yeah, but sure. a life that is that is giving God. Um, Thanksgiving, yes. Yeah. A life that is glorifying God is the most greatest service we can give. Which one I'm all eighty that I got you know the greatest service, we'll call it a reasonable. Yeah. The least you can the do. Least. Mm -hmm. So is to give your body as a living sacrifice. So that what perpetuates the activities. So the activities are meaningless if the 
life of my condition. Sure. Because sure. a yielded life oozes out the expressions. So before the expression, no one should beg you to thank God yeah. or read your life as they offered. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Okay, Ma, I'm going to ask you both this question. So why is God an integral part of love? So Paluma and then Ubaba, I think you as well. <laughs> Um, he, God is love. God is love. So if, if there's a relationship and the love is not, God is not the source, yes. then it is inevitable for that relationship to perish. Because we, are, we as humans cannot be the source of love. I cannot give love if I do not have God. You cannot give something that you do not have. Yeah. 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 So if God is love, he's not even... In terms of being a part of it, yeah. it's him being the foundation, being the recognizing. What if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be. Mm. It's not a matter of engabe skupla mube, engabe relationship. No, yeah. If God is not there, yeah. So that that's definitely it for me. Yeah. Yeah. I ah. Mula na na wish tan. Ega cool. Yeah, mula mula na wega cool. Um, I just want to add also a thing in John chapter 6, um, the spirit quickens, the flesh benefits nothing. Mm-hmm. And then Paul adds um, on Romans um, 8, at he, to be spiritually minded is life and peace, to be current minded is death. Lately I've realized there's nothing you can do in the flesh. Yeah. There's no love in the flesh because the flesh produces the works of the flesh, but the spirit produces the works of the spirit, which yeah. is the works of God, the works of Christ. So when when we embrace the fact that we cannot love on our own, mm. um, we allow the Holy Spirit to navigate through our heart mm. and to, 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 to have a technology that will build love within us. Um, because um, love is not in the, is not just in the soul. Because yeah. soul is engages your feelings, your thoughts, yeah. Yeah, but spirit engages your commitment, yeah. who you are. Yeah. So you have not loved until love has become who you are. Okay. Um, until yeah. the spirit becomes a technology that works on who you are, your nature. So God needs to be an integral part of it, or rather a foundation and a founding source of love in order for us to love that way. There is no greater love than this. Yeah. That a man would lay down his life for a friend. Mm. So we realize we would say, how we know love and how psychology has taught us love is not what love is according to the standards of God. Yeah. Until you are willing to die for another, sure. then you have not reached the God kind of love. Sure. That's why we rely on Him. Yeah. Yeah. And then, Dad, um, why did you choose Oma in particular? Why Oma? Why did you choose? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, I, I, I want to say, Uguti, I know I might get in trouble for this. <laughs> I want to say we marry for God. I know Uti, there's so much going on right now in this generation about marrying for yourself, mm-hmm. um, doing things that makes you happy, prioritizing yourself. But I would like to differ. The kingdom of God works on different scales. Yeah. The kingdom of God says, make God happy. Mm-hmm. Whatever you do, it has to be within the boundaries of make him happy. Yeah. So I think we can avoid also the questions of can you marry an unbeliever? Can you marry? Yeah. Because all that you do is to make your king happy, yeah. to please him. Yeah. So if he's pleased, he, his desires becomes your desires. Yeah. So I want to say, Uti Unkulunkulu doesn't want us to marry people we don't love. Yeah. But he wants us to love within the parameters of his kingdom. Yeah. So I want to say, I mean, I married for God. I loved my wife at first sight. I did not really think, we were too different. Yeah. Yeah, 
Uh, but we had a common ground that was stronger than our differences. Sure, sure. And that common ground was the kingdom. Yeah. And because we had that common ground, I was able, or rather we were able to let go of, of what we, 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 are, we are different um, in and make certain compromises so mm. that we are able to achieve this goal of because one of the questions that I asked myself when I chose to marry this woman was, are we going to make Jesus proud together? Yeah, together. Yeah, because I know we can build a house, we can you know, do certain things that the people of this world measures as successful marriage. But if, 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 if you're not going to make Jesus proud, so it goes beyond beauty and what you like. If the person you are married, are you going to make Jesus proud? Is the kingdom going to benefit from that union? For me, there was the deciding factor. For me, there was the deciding factor. Yeah. And back to Adam, man. I always, we always say that if we had gotten, if, if we had said, um, <laughs> that's me, 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 we were so different. Yeah. We actually we actually went on our first date together after our engagement. <laughs> <laughs> and we started to say, Bo, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. But one thing that we knew with this this relationship is the will of God. Yeah. This this is this is it, I had so much peace. No man one was I gay. But there was peace that was in my spirit yeah. that surpassed what was in my mind. What was in my soul? And I get born again. Bo, hey, gang. Who pin that has? I went to awards and say, Bo, hey, gang. Who says a cool man? The minister put. I get born in jail. It doesn't matter, la. Yeah, but 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 the peace of God about our relationship surpassed everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Can I give you an example of how the Holy Spirit helped us? So we now fine. Get such shanty. We are two different. I'm from. Deep rural area. Yes, it was Mrs. Gisam. <laughs> She's from like uh, Lokshini, Foot, Skoli, uh, Nesungoni, and then we are just too different. I'm not that romantic, um, you know, that one of that. I learned it, but we are talented. We are flowers. We are talented. We are talented. Then I had to learn it more when I'm since Ruti. Because I'm doing it for her. Yeah. She must be happy more than what I prefer. Yeah, yeah sure. But, um, there's an example that just happened more when one says a boy. Ungos kazo amu ya kofla. And milangi easily irritated. I went to the class, man, not to be here. When I went to the I'm irritated by that. So, impatient also. There was this morning, um, a kofla in which phone was always four. Every morning, she forgets her phone. She says, she says, she says, then I was so angry this morning. She forgets me. I'm angry. I'm impatient. Yeah. And the Holy Spirit there and there was to be kind to one another. Yeah. From that day, I labored yeah. to be kind to my wife. Fine, she's forgetful. She doesn't take serious to say, I go, if born, but I have to, you know. But the Holy Spirit helped me to learn an art of how to walk with her through that weakness. Yeah. So, so yeah, I'm answering you. La po uti. Hey, a Holy Spirit founded relationship is bound to prosper. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Lena, how has Obara been a blessing to you? Oh my God. Um, can I call up? <laughs> um, my husband is a leader. Like, he's been a blessing in so many ways. My husband prioritizes me. He loves me. Oh, my God would, would stop everything to make sure it's be right. And it's not only that he knows what I can do it. He will still do it for me. <laughs> um, but one thing that stands out, he's, he's a leader. Um, there are things that happen in our home. And I'm like, I'll just call my husband. He'll sort it out. Yeah. Something happens at work. Um, I've been retrenched twice. I'm not working in but I know my husband, my husband will come through for me. Yeah. Um, he's in our ministry. 
Um, I really believe Wutsi had it not been for the leader he is. In every aspect, I I, 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 would, I would take forever. <laughs> I would take forever to do things. He he pushes me, even our kids. Wutsi, okay, fine. He parenting yet. I ain't gonna be haphazard. I ain't gonna be good. I ain't gonna be so cool. I ain't be structured. As as good is funa abenjani. Si funa uza na bato na bazo kula fearing God. Si si I say say plan everything. I think his his leadership skills have been um have been something that is I I treasure the most. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then, do you think? Of all these cuts, like sonas, you have one with the women are becoming leaders in their respective um, mm. fields and stuff. Do you think it's for women in marriage to understand the role of a man as a leader, or kona any dog mele see as about the union between mujestas and mujestas? Um, if I believe mega so bad, would say oh oh oh, unkulu kulu ikanda lendon. Um, emotional about it. The Bible is very clear. And I don't think it is working against us. It works for us. Yeah. Just like um Umangabe, something happens in our home, in our marriage. The first person who's accountable is my husband. Yeah. It's yeah. not it's not working against us. Who are submissive. Yeah. It is for us. Sure. Yeah, but and it all goes back to inige. It goes back to Wuti. Which man are you marrying? Yeah. Yeah, but it's a big ten inige. Nga boshela jo wele. Yeah. Yeah, but so manje yeah. yeah. if if that man you are so 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 determined to fight to submit again, then you are not supposed to be in the same. You are not supposed to be bleeding anything together yeah. because manje ni ni disaster waiting to happen. Yeah. Yeah, but because mind you, if my husband is a God fearing man, no matter sometimes I make decisions or when I, I don't agree with them, but I know he fears God. Yeah, he was yeah. not gonna put me and my kids in jeopardy. Yeah, yeah. Because he knows he's accountable to God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is there one thing that you can show us that you are certain of would see it makes you compatible to your wife? One thing. Yeah. <laughs> being a person who comes from a family without father and mother, you know, those kind of family where there's no example. Yeah. Her family, her family, mm. family yeah, <laughs> has, has helped me to lead her without fear, without insecurities, without, hey, Nkulukuria says that because he grant us a formula, yeah. a formula on how to be compatible. Yeah. I wanted to say, while you are on that question, Oguti, the world put so much things you should look for. Yeah. Like, before you marry someone, look for, no compatibility is built. Oh, it's built. Yes. Okay, can you expound? Mm. Compatibility okay. is built. Because when you gather together or when you form a relationship, definitely you won't be the same people. Otherwise, there's no need for you to get married. Okay. If you are the same, you don't need each other. Yeah. So if I'm impatient and my wife maybe is slow in doing certain things and I'm very quick, it's not for me to teach her to be quick. Sure. It's for me to help her yeah. where she's not fast or where she's not. So I must I must see her weaknesses as a place to play my role, not to note them and to try to fix her. Sure. But if if I'm strong in a certain way and she's weak in a certain way, that's why we are together. So we build the compatibility and also we build it by grace. Yeah. You are graceful. Yeah. So if 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 I'm not 
if I'm not into business, she is into business. I'm making that typical example that people make. So um, if you are in, an entrepreneur, you can't marry someone who's not an entrepreneur. When I speak about building, look at what someone loves. Mm -hmm. So if I, 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 I we, we building in a, in, a, in, a, in a marriage, I will look for what he, she loves. So if she loves sewing, I mean, it's sewing for fun, or she loves yeah. children, or she loves gadgets or whatever, let's look at how that thing is going to be helpful in what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. uh, rather than trying to change her into becoming more like me to, yeah. in order to enforce the compatibility. Mm -hmm. So if you see that this person, because what I always say, Wuti, marry a teachable person rather than a perfect person. Sure. Okay. I don't want a perfect person. She yeah. doesn't want a perfect person because a perfect person has learned the skill of life. But if you are together to learn, yeah. you form compatibility. Because you learn the Holy Spirit can still teach you, you can still teach each other. So you, as much as the wife must, must submit, the, the Bible also say, be submissive to one another. So there are things I'm learning from her. Yeah. There are things she's learning from me. So if I have a teachable spirit, I can learn to be a companion. Yeah. Rather than trying to find someone perfect who can complete you or just fit in the passion. Yeah. <laughs> We're not wearing a shoe. Okay. Sometimes the shoe will come as a different make and mm -hmm. you'll have to find a way on how yeah. you're going to wear that shoe comfortably. So, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I don't believe in things that just come. Yeah. It's labor. Marriage is labor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's why a young person who just wants to get married to be happy, we are there for wrong reasons. <laughs> because... It's like, that. yeah, <laughs> it's like salvation. Salvation, you become so happy when you receive yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. But you don't know that you have just entered the field to labor, yeah. a, an army to yeah. fight, yeah. you know, a battleground. Yes. Yeah. So, um, you're not there to be happy. Yes, yeah. happiness is it's a part of, it's it. Part of yeah. it. But it's not the main thing why you're here. You're here yeah. to fight together, to build together. Yeah. And yeah, that, that's why... That's why divorce should not be the language of people who are building. Yeah. Like when you build a house, destroying it is not a language. Yeah. You sure. always look for a way on how to keep the building going forward. Yeah. Sure. yeah. And then now, is there certain things you had to wish you you didn't grow up in a nuclear family setup? Are there certain things that you had to unlearn, Skati Uso Shata Uma, or during? Like your journey of being married and stuff, all the certain things that you had to unlearn from childhood. Yeah, your yeah, English is good. Nuclear family. <laughs> so, your buningi, buningi, the unlearning. But the unlearning also doesn't start just when you're about to get married. Mm. Yeah. For me, it started with the illumination of the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes, He shows you your spot. Yeah. He showed me how controlling I was, you know, through friends. I want to say this once again. There are also friendships that prepares you for yeah. marriage. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are friendships that will teach you servanthood. Mm -hmm. There are friendships where your friend will rebuke you. I mean, Pela, she's yeah. not, he's not your wife or whatever. She can rebuke you. Why are you controlling me? And there and yeah. there, there's the Holy Spirit working through a friendship to show you. You are controlling, you have toxic traits. So I had a lot of toxic traits, which the Holy Spirit is still helping me yeah. because uh, they did not end when I got married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the Holy Spirit keeps on helping me even now. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. And then, Ma, if I believe it, it describes yeah. she will see the church is likened to the bride and stuff. Yes. And then it continues to t teach us about submission, like the wife having to submit to Christ and yes. that whole what and last way the scripture is. <laughs> so then, um, what does your knowledge of the church being the bride of Christ teach you about the submission unto your husband? Um, <laughs> that's one of the biggest topics. My like energy very when this submission is about um, with the church being submissive to Christ, um, 
like I said before, firstly, um, it's something that you just have to do without waiting for your emotion to be a part of it. Because if, if the church is waiting for emotions to obey Christ, I, we are never going to do that. Yeah, but because our emotions also form part of the system of being carnal. Yeah. So, as in this video that we read in the Bible, you can, your flesh does not say yes to them. Yeah. No one can choose that, Jay. Unless Ella, what you want is Christ. Yeah. Yeah, but so I, 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 even in marriage, um it, it goes beyond the feelings of happiness. Yeah. If we get lana, we are building something that comes from God. Yeah. So Leo Leo, it's also like I said, it's not working against you. Ibandel Tobela Ukrestu is is protection. Yeah. It's security. A guko lao chesas or si sa ko na we kuzo yield the ama results ange ko good for us. Yeah. Kong ke lao ches ati ko na um we 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 must as as sense ganje as hamiga le mele sa kwe ganje je ne bad. It's for the glory of God. And if the Lord is pleased with us, what more do we want? Yeah. Yeah. But so as a wife. It teaches me now because there are things my mom's always would say. Um, my mom's always eh, iba and that is what happens. Liber, liber ganje. Um, I'm saying this because we also in ministry together. Give one would say, okay, oh yeah, what's them? God, I also have to remember. But okay, he's my husband. Also now he's my covering in the Lord. So my gen jungle ba eh umi enwa mi eh umfundi swam. Ah, my opinions. Um, sometimes they don't count. And I just have to be submissive. Lendo ends and also um I've seen it. Because in this country, who knows into that my husband starts him born and I would say, we are humble, but we are not got to eh yeah born. But as soon as it as when them as when them so, it confidence I can go to another level. So you saw it um generally yeah but he he the king in him, I I I I get doubt as me I submit to him. And that that king works for me. <laughs> that king works for me. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> and then Dad, um, the next question I have for you is that how would you connect your behavior in society, proof of your love for yourself, your love for your wife, and your union with your wife? <laughs> yeah. Um Utsike. Once you are married, you become one. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, it expresses the, the love you have for your for your spouse. Just like how Jesus behavior, so that he helps us in our weaknesses. He helps us because this is only present about it. Because how we live and how we behave expresses the fear we have for him, the respect we have for him, and the love that we have for him. Uti ong tandalo, ulandeli mi aloyam. Uti ong ailandeli mi aloyam, unumkami banga. He doesn't love me. So, utanda, I can tell my wife 20 times a day that I love him. I love her. But the truth of the matter is that love is expressed in behavior. Yeah. So if I behave anyhow, if I speak anyhow, if I entertain and flirt with people, mm. you know, it expresses that I'm a liar mm. when I'm compared to what I was saying mm. to my wife. So utando, utando is, is, is actions. Utando is commitment. Utando, we bo pezela. Even if I go to Johannesburg and I'm tempted at the at the verge of temptation, I'll remember that I love my wife. Yeah. So whatever I do here is an expression of what I've said and what I've promised her. Mm. So even dear Jesus Christ, I've explained that also. How I behave expresses how much I love Jesus. It expresses so the love of God compels us. Mm. So now we have that love that we think. Oh, the love of God makes you free. It actually bound you. Love bound. Love, love 
Love is a binding force. Yes. It's not a freeing force. Yeah, yeah. You are liberated from the law of sin, but you are not liberated to be free. Yeah. You are liberated to be bound again yeah. into the law of the spirit of life. Yeah. So even with my wife, once you say you love someone, you are not free. <laughs> you are indebted. You are obligated. Yeah. Because love is an obligation. Mm -hmm. So you are obligated to live in a certain manner yeah. that expresses your commitment. Then Ma, why is it why do you reckon it's, it is important to show your husband the see you notice him and you prefer him as your husband? Nah. <laughs> uh, funny that you ask that because um we are grateful yeah. and we appreciate it. So if he does something and I'll convince him that you saw it, ah uh, <laughs> um he, once you he does something and uponga. Uh, it makes him look for another thing that he can do so that you can say thank you again. He's just like that. Um, I think it's very important. Ooh, ooh. Words of affirmation are very important. Even if I feel we must remind them of the good and yeah. the things that conquered yeah. and their spirit is uplifted. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I really believe Uti, as wives, we must not be receptive only. Yeah. Sure. I must appreciate what there was a meal to cook. Yeah. I think an across he's supposed to buy groceries for his family, but ah, so boss was seven. Ah, in your car, baba. Yeah, but it it we shall not make two a a be boy be so so good in case he cook. But he knows what in my family is gonna be happy. Yeah. They're gonna appreciate me doing this. Yeah, yeah. But, um, it is it is important also. We would say. Unga be entitled. Mm. Don't be entitled. Even if it's, it's your spouse, you can't be entitled mm. to them loving you and expressing love. Yeah. Um, every every time he buys me flowers, it's it's almost like the first time he mm. bought me flowers. Yeah. I'm not entitled to buti. One shot on so say kai a final ungoi. Final and John take a limb at a at seven ganja. If who would see who call him to all. Oh, 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 you're all receptive. Pen, who's a tuna local builder? He hates. And what if someone who says women's a lizard, who says women's a lizard? At in your subconscious mind, who's a Wednesday a local booty? You will end up hating that person for never appreciating yeah. and showing what's it. You have one how much you go through to yeah. make this happen for us. Yeah, so I really believe what it's important for wives to appreciate. Yeah, yeah. Baba, what does it mean to be the protector of your wife and your union? Mm. No. Yeah. Um, as I think I mentioned earlier, which I did not grow up in a particular family way, like I saw my father protecting my mother. Mm. But um, I learned everything from Christ. Sure. Yeah, I learned everything from Christ and obviously from marriages in the church. Mm. Um, yeah. It, but most of the things I want to look at Christ. Yeah. How he, how he governed the church. Yeah, you know, um, how he protects the church by also teaching the church how to fight. Okay. Yeah. So I think it is, um, it is not in alignment to say you're just going to protect the person and not teach them sure. how to sure. hold weapons because. Sure. A true protection is when you have taught yeah. the person you are protecting on yeah. how to fight. Yeah. Sure. So, for me, because I am my wife, I will I will push her sometimes beyond limit or beyond um, uh, physical potentials. It's part of protection. Yeah. Sure. That um, when I'm not here. When I'm not here, I've taught you a defense mechanism. I've taught yeah. you an attacking skill. I've taught you how to fight for your family. I've taught you how to fight for your kids, how to fight for the ministry. If I die, the ministry is not going to die with me. Yeah, because sure. I've taught someone. It's part of protecting. So I believe what I should spend my time teaching my wife to do what I do. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like just like Jesus, he sent us the spirit, sent us the weight, he gave us resources and he teaches us mm -hmm. how to fight. Yeah. And then Ma, has there been instances where you felt 
your husband will see he was demonstrating a selfless love to you in terms of wanting what's best for you? Um, I think from the beginning, um, I think I've had my way <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I've had my way um, from the beginning. Um, we, we come from a, a church in Jordan. <laughs> and my husband was like, I don't believe in that. Not necessarily because I said, no, we can call each other. We have to meet and talk. And he, he put down a lot of what he believed in so that to accommodate me. And I really believe, I saw that that was very selfless of him. Yeah. Um, Uguti, he went and spoke to my brother, who was my pastor. <laughs> um, I can't commit a lot. <laughs> um, that was him really being selfless. But I realized, was okay, this relationship is not just him getting a wife. Mm -hmm. Um, and one instant I'm remembering, um, is when, um, it was last year. Um, last, so it happened, Uguti, um, I went to the car. <laughs> I just didn't get a car, and I just needed a car. That's a cartilage. <laughs> he was like, no, I think we should wait time, bro. And Jay, I know we can afford it. I said, can come, man. But I said, we're dying, man. It's like, no, I can wait. We have the wee woman. We can, we can talk. We can convince influence in Jay. Yeah. <laughs> so I spoke to him. I spoke to him until I was woman. We got the second car. Um, I think six months or five months down the line, I got retrenched. And when I got retrained, the first thing in my mind was like, oh, okay, it's fine. Um, I'll just return this car. Mm -hmm. And by the time we had that conversation, yeah, and he had already made arrangements to sell his car. <laughs> so that we can keep my car. <laughs> that was like, I knew how much he loved that car. Mm -hmm. Paul. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was his Paul, it was his first brand new car. Mm -hmm. And I knew he wanted to keep that car. Even I said before he gets a second car, yeah. and the fact that it was it wasn't even the fact that I asked him. Yeah. He had already shooting. He had made up his mind. It was not even a question for him. Would I? So I need to win. I think him out. I for me that was like oh my god. We are called we are called a It was another definition of being selfless. Yeah. 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 And then Maska to Sankuluma and describing your relationship with Obaba. The figure of Mina is Obaba being like a shepherd of your home and stuff. And I believe Buti is calling other thing he found a way of speaking about shepherds in particular, Buti. They are speaking about shepherds in particular, Buti. They're, they're also actually able to see when like the sheep are pregnant and stuff. So mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you, Buti, are there certain things? as when Ubaba was able to identify before you actually knew knew them or spoke to him, guys. Oh yes, <laughs> a lot, a lot actually. Um, from from being a prophet, I, I, <laughs> um, he was the person who said you are a prophet of high book or something that much. Um, and he started Jay telling about all that high book. <laughs> and um born a lock. Um in my ministry, um I know I'm called for um preparing the body of Christ. Um, um the message of righteousness is, is one of the messages I'm called for. Um I'm called for the great revival. Um I'm a uh, 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 is very doctrinal. Um so he well, we are in a position where you say, okay, fine, we, we can hear you. We would say, yeah, we, the church must be holy. Uh, let's, let's, let's place it with scripture, I imagine. <laughs> let us, let, let I even found it. Yeah. Yeah, I even found it. Um, in terms of my ministry, definitely, I knew I was called, but in shape, I definitely did not see it coming. I did not see it coming. My husband is. Even um the message of Jesus Christ, the person of Christ, mm -hmm. I am expounding that currently during a month. And when he spoke that upon me, um, I started realizing, okay, the Lord has been speaking about this. Mm -hmm. Um, it came together. I went, okay, fine, precept upon precept, line upon line. When he spoke it, I was like, it was like an illumination. It was okay, fine. Um, and I must I must learn the person of Christ yeah. because that's also what I'm called to to teach um mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Yeah. Okay. And then Baba, 
the question I have for you, mind you, is us focusing on singleness. And I believe we'll see most of the time when people go through that season of singleness, your figures cut away, loneliness also creeps in. Mm-hmm. And I believe Lana and Fadir will see to find the one and my question for you is why is it still necessary for us to pursue purity in our singleness <laughs> yeah uh, that's 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 now very interesting <laughs> because um it looks like the um, the message of purity is being narrowed down or rather reduced especially in terms um, of being single and transitioning from being single to being married. Um, But we must always remember why are we pursuing purity? Purity is for the glory of Christ. We are pure not to get married. We are pure to glorify Jesus. Mm -hmm. So our purity is, is towards Christ. So it's very crucial that whoever, whoever, even if you are not going to get married, I, I always say this, um, will tell you, but even now, not just before marriage, I even address people, you know, we have an elephant in the room in the church, homosexuality, people yeah. who, who, who love people of the same gender, but they don't want to do that, né? they want yeah. to please God. Mm. I always advocate that the main goal is purity. Yeah. The main goal is to please God. Mm. Whether you're going to get married or not, whether you are you, 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 you are being tested by people of the same gender, or different gender, there's only one pursuit mm. to glorify Jesus in our bodies. Yeah. Mm. So the word of God says we must glorify Jesus in our bodies. We must pursue holiness. Um, whoever cleanses himself from the latter shall be the vessel of honor. Yeah. So it all it all unto Jesus. Yeah. So as as long as we have captured that one and we understand that whatever, even if you 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 you, you are you are having a natural cravings, the pursuit is one. The pursuit is pleasing Jesus. Yeah. So when loneliness creeps in, you must always remember we are in a warfare of purity. Yeah. Sometimes it becomes intense, sometimes it becomes very real. But we, we must always remember oh, our pursuit is holiness, our pursuit is purity, our pursuit is pleasing Jesus. Now we can solve the issue of deliverance. You know, you don't need to be delivered from temptation. <laughs> <laughs> you will never be delivered from temptation. Yeah. So it goes to the fact that most of the young people say we go to Jesus for deliverance from cravings. Mm. No, you don't go to Jesus for deliverance from cravings. You go to Jesus for strength. Yeah. yeah to for strength to be able to resist that temptation. Yeah. So yeah. resistance, hey, our generation, they want easy. They want things that are easy. Yeah. They don't want to fight. Yeah. Yeah, they don't want to fight. Pastor, help me. I have cravings. <laughs> pray for me. No, I don't need to pray for you. Yeah. I need to teach you. You cannot give birth to something to something you have not labored mm. on. Mm. And the Holy Spirit, if the fruit of the Holy Spirit has self-control. Yeah. So if if there was different we were being delivered from everything, then why do we need to be self-controlled? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it, it's the fruit of the spirit for you to see something and be tempted. God, yeah, we yeah. That is that is a fruit of the spirit. Yeah. There is a fruit of which there's there's an indwelling in yes. you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 On that note, uh, when we got engaged together, yeah, my wife used to come to my room where I was staying. Yeah. Who, my fiance at that time. So mm. she used to come. Would not cravings come in? Definitely they would come. And that something would just say, I will read you a bit, no more now. You are just yeah. coming a few months to mm. marry it. You know? mm. But I understood would see, this is not culture. Yeah. It's a spiritual, it is spiritual pursuit. Yeah. It's greater than culture, it's greater than tradition. In such a way, our families did not understand why is your 
like fiance not coming to your house now because mm. you've paid the bola, mm. you have done everything. What are you waiting for? Mm. But it's not about families. It's not about um, it's not about society. Mm. In this time where purity is stigmatized as mm. our 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 service is unto the Lord. Our service is unto God. It's not unto men. So yes. Yeah, so okay, although I had every chance that I could actually sleep with my wife before marriage. Mm. And by the uh some of the things I'm a virgin so baby. Yeah. So it ended up as the foundation. Mm. Foundation of your mm. marriage. If 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 you if you compromised. Mm. Even if if you compromise purity, mm. even before it will affect that foundation. Yeah. We we can't tell you how, but loyal loyal seed that you planted, you will reap the fruit of it. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. I want to put this also. Yes, it affect it affect the marriage. Purity is an offering. Yeah. I know we live in times where you know, um, we we think, ah, we are under grace, nothing matters, <laughs> you know. Um, but let us look, because there are two systems here, in the system of God, the system of the devil. The devil loves virgins. Mm. When he wants to establish something, he will say, give me a virgin. Mm. Because virgins are, 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 are significant spiritually. Mm. Now, I don't want to be mysterious. But I just want to say, Uti, purity is a spiritual seed. Mm-hmm. If you have, if you have maintained purity, you have controlled yourself. It's not going to be in vain. Yeah. There is a reward for purity. Yeah. A peaceful marriage is one of them. If you end up getting married, because God honors purity. He honors purity even within the marriage. The marriage where someone is not pure, because if virginity is not just not having sex, there's spiritual virginity mm-hmm. where you're not exposed to false doctrines. Mm-hmm. So if you get exposed to false doctrine, you have broken the virginity of your spirit. Mm-hmm. So even marriage, there is virginity within marriage, purity within marriage, mm-hmm. that the, 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 the virginity must not be broken, the fallow ground must not be plowed. So you find Uti, there are people who go out and bring certain things within mm. the covenant of marriage, mm. and by that they break the virginity sure. of the marriage. And when you break the virginity, you open a door for other things to creep in. And 10 years down the line, you ask yourself, how did these things come in? Mm. You have to go back to your spiritual activity because we should understand what we do physically is registered as spiritual. Yeah. So whatever you do, you can't just get away from it. Yeah. You know, just you cheated and no one saw you and then you think that thing will not mm-hmm. open a door for anything. You might not get a child, you might not get HIV, but spiritually there's something heavier than HIV. Yeah. There's a disease mm-hmm. that is heavier than a disease that is diagnosed through the blood. There's a spiritual disease which becomes a door where all other Spirit can creep in and you'll find yourself in a place where you can no longer control what comes into your marriage because yeah. you have opened that door. Yeah. So I want to awaken our generation. Yeah. Understand which spiritual activities are doors. Yeah. If either you open it or you shut it. Yeah. If you too long and then it's fair, it becomes one with that person. That's a door. Yeah. You have opened that door mm-hmm. for you to be in union with that person. Yeah. So our our generation should pursue we should pursue purity because you want to shut every door so that devil yes. has no chance mm. so that devil has no chance when you compromise on even kissing in Zalwa, we never kissed Mm-mm. because any arousal of of cravings of the flesh any pleasing of the flesh is an act of disobedience whatever whatever inflict no matter whatever triggers fleshly desires is not supposed to be done yeah it's not supposed to be done don't ask me is kissing sex no even if it's not sex but if 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 if, if, if it, it pleases the flesh 
Yeah. If it pleases the flesh, it's not supposed to be done. And also in your singlehood, if you don't learn how to starve the flesh, there's no mm. way you're going to learn it in marriage. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. Because this woman now I've slept with you for so long now. If, if I don't fear God, I would want a different shape, a different kind of a person, mm. you know, and what would stop me if I opened that door during my single mm. Very crucial, very crucial. Yes. It's a fight that never ends. Whether you are married or not, it's a fight. Purity is a fight that never ends. It yes. doesn't end. Mm. Yeah. And I think earlier on while we were discussing, mm. she asked with what does purity look like in marriage? Mm. So any of you guys can answer it. Um, obviously, um, the, the, the adultery, fornication is the sin. Mm. That one is the basic. But there are also other things. There's school pornography. Mm. There are things that Abadu, Abazenda, to, to gratify the flesh. God, as you guys, I wouldn't let my spouse see this. And no man, I've been told, you are saying, there's no woman, it's just me. God, there are doors that you are opening in the spirit because yeah. isn't this is a physically an expression of the physical of the spiritual mm -hmm. so impurity in the marriage it, 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 it has to be maintained because it defile your marriage it doesn't just affect your spouse which was a pattern mm -hmm. it's not a matter of making your wife sad mm -hmm. or your husband sad mm -hmm. it's a matter of shaking the foundations in guns and like kai because yeah. now if if me and Omzobe, we are having a defiled marriage, that means my kids have to work times to build that marriage from scratch because we are not giving it to them. Yeah. Yeah, but Paul speaks something so divine. We saw this faith from your grandmother, mm -hmm. then to your mother. Now that faith is in you. So if we could have faith that we take from us to our kids. Mm -hmm. So if Tina see call us Nabazaluan. Yet there's a there's there's cheating happening in the marriage. Lazing and it's my cool and they have to start from scratch. Yeah. They do they are not gonna receive from us oh, see, the, the grace of godly marriages. Yeah. Yeah. They are yeah. not gonna get it from us. Yeah. It, it, it was not a nuclear family. Even spiritually, and some if we had time, we will tell you the 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 the, the challenges and the trials that we faced. Yeah. We were supposed to get married in six months, but it was a year plus four months mm. because of the challenges we were facing. Because it was not just a matter of two people who love each other getting together. It was um, the fact that Akazek shot the room. She's the first person mm. to bring in a wife. Mm. So there's, there's, there's generational curses here. In my family, now I'm in my generation, mm. amongst my sisters and my father's side, I was the first one to get married. So it was a matter of what there are, there are limitations on the spirit that you are breaking. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but, so if we are haphazard, even in the marriage, what are we handing over to mm. our children? Yeah. And what are we handing over to God? Yeah. Yeah. Because this yeah. marriage should glorify Christ. Yeah. And and stand, uh, sure. he, actually, I want to say, Uti, you are giving them something, mm. your children. Mm. Mm. You are handing over something. Mm. So mm. before building, they must destroy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you can't <laughs> not give them nothing. That's true. There is definitely something you are giving them. And it just depends what you are giving them. Yeah. Mm. There's a heritage you are giving them. There's an inheritance you are giving them. It either it's a good or inheritance of darkness or inheritance of the light. Yeah. But there is something you're gonna give them. Yeah. So it's very important yeah, that we build, we build to give a proper inheritance to our children. Mm. So they don't have to go back and fight yeah. the, the, the battles battle. that yeah. we were supposed to conquer, mm. you know. Um, so my my boy must not grow up and be abusive to my wife, uh, you know, because he, he has never seen it anyway. Mm -hmm. Number two, I've, I've conquered that in the spirit. I'm handing over an inheritance to him mm -hmm. that he can build upon. Yeah. So there is something we are handing over. Yeah. Yeah, either they have to destroy before building or they are building from a foundation that it's already mm -hmm. laid. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then uh, 
the last question, well, not necessarily the last question, but the question, and so for Zayana, is why is there still a need for Abadu who want to get married to be accountable to other people around them or having some sort of community around them? Um, yo, it's important. It's important. Um, because in the, um, this one is, is, is something that has a share. If, 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 they are, if they are not willing to share, you might fix my mind, it's a soak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you fix my, why are you ashamed mm-hmm. about it? If, it? if it's godly and it comes from God, because I'm going to move to Shemjad because I, I prayed. Mm-hmm. And I know what's in the one for me. Mm-hmm. And if it comes from God, why are we hiding it? Double. Uh, and the accountability, it is over to my baby of Babun Zora, it is Baba and Yang Yam Tanduban, and I want us to get married. Oh, Babun Zobe, oh, kind of before easy, figure goes tabby, said Fanele, I iron out certain things. Yeah, but who goes okay, fine. He is background, they are called Iganjai. Yeah, but there are things, SSE counseling already. Oh, good, background, they are because your background plays a huge role in a relationship. Yeah. A huge role. So for these actors, I'm a issue with who let Angela no put. For the rest, it's just the actors. The manager zone, and this is and if you own the role, you can let But let's say I want to put a no. When I when I when I anger, I've seen you put. You you have you're very the person or or no lack, and you don't know lack. I cannot be trusted with women and children because those people are vulnerable. And so before I just say the same thing, just simply let us address that. But if Uguti, you guys want to do it behind closed doors, who will ever know? Uguti, Njenga Manjan is taking it. And what happens most of the time, he probably said, Nen King. Said, Nen King. Nen King. Nen King. Nen King. Nen How did you find that out? Yeah, but because Manjan, I went to my dad at a white. We ask what sometimes in our generation, we want to, we want to just, Somehow, such full ones are young, can there be any when I was foolish and unnecessary? Not a cutty bed, bed, but what I went to a range of women to a range, there were reasons. And there was protection at tea. Even if to us, you are born, I would see no some irrelevance. God, we must not be ignorant of what they were running away from. We must not pretend as if I have a village. There's people who get hurt, but she is. Because of relationships. Yeah. But she would chase ah, And you imagine, you would say, no one knew. Yeah. And Lord would tell you, and said, no, how are you going to counsel them back to Christ? Yeah. Even vice versa. Yeah. So I, I believe the accountability is, is very important. It's yeah. very important. Yeah, I think, I think, um, as you are talking, Jay, you can see it, the same same strategy for salvation. You hide and you are safe. <laughs> if it's yeah. good, why are you are hiding it? Yeah. So you don't hide and you are safe. You look for people who yeah. are going to help you in your journey. Yeah. Because there's no way you're going to go with a journey without people to help you. Yeah. Mature people to help you, not just friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mature people. It may not be the pastor initially, but someone mature, an elder, someone older, whom you're going to be accountable to. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, if it's good, why do you need to hide it? Mm-hmm. Probably you know, like, oh, show me to hide. Yeah. Probably you shouldn't be in that relationship. In the first place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So lately, is one of the things Uncle Nkole has been teaching me in terms of engaging in spiritual warfare is that a corner you, you shouldn't try to fast necessarily without no understanding what two of the tools of spiritual warfare is firstly living a life of holiness mm-hmm. as well as waiting on the lord so why should mean what waiting on god as well as holiness there are spiritual tools that are used to wage war you shouldn't just become a person but you need to understand the weight of these two things so i, I believe Wuti, it's one of the reasons why our prayers go unanswered it, it is because we don't understand these two tools so i wanted to ask you Wuti, what are the benefits of holiness lived before marriage and also nobody can answer this question as well in terms of the spiritual warfare that you guys have embarked on in marriage and 
na spawn aga nje ni sanja sigan kuru kuru in that like season or time of waging war with the spirits. Mm. <laughs> um, holiness. Lizoti, your holiness is the crowd. You can never fight not standing anywhere. Yeah. Mm. So before we speak about fasting the weight or whatever, you must be standing on the ground. Mm. So the weapon of our warfare, number one, are not canon. Yeah. They are mighty in God. Mm. So they're the ground where you stand. So holiness is a ground. Waiting on God, when you read in Psalms 2, are those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. Mm. What the Lord was telling you is that before you even engage in a warfare, you must have let an act to wait. Yeah. Because that's how you gain strength. Yeah. Those who can wait can fight. Yeah. You know, yeah. so those who <laughs> wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. Yeah. It says they will mount up like eagles. They will run and not get weary. Yeah. So if you want to be conquered in the battlefield, don't wait upon the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> you know, rush, yeah. rush in yeah. the presence of the Lord, be on a rush. Like our generation, our generation is on a rush. Yeah. Why, you know, yeah, but anyway, let me answer the question. Um, marriage, marriage is, is, a, is a covenant. Marriage is God's institution and the devil will always contend. Yeah. The devil will always want to destroy the rich, reveals God because I mean we antagonist. Yeah. Yeah. We 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 it, it glorifies God so that they will fight anything that yeah. reveals Christ. So, umshato gega kulu, because umkulu kulu, before we were sent to any, usabenze mshatoeni, the initial ministry, umkulu kula ikala, I was a minister of families. Mm. God intended to work through families. Inga kwa nama kimi pasi, ya tuwa bali jene inti mzaba. Tuwa only when you don't afford to get uga, aga makelo ani, muti ni ona tanganye ni pasi. But the initial Passover is not a conference. Yeah. Where families partake. Oh, Baba Petrazela, my daughter, and my daughter, as I want a Macoscas, would see Miss Ponda Silas, Apuma Ganjiki, Pitwa, Fusumo, Seba, Flebu, and Dolbo. So God wanted ministry and teaching to happen yeah. in a family structure. He banned the lens again because of, of the dispensation that had to take place after the Jews rejected Jesus Christ. Yeah. So the initial the initial ministry is family and we have had things that we saw which are born again that the devil is trying us mm. yeah but especially mm. we we always say no cause guys and it has happened but nothing should touch our marriage yeah. mm. we can struggle with everything struggle with food struggle as long as it doesn't touch our we protect doesn't touch our we protect we pray we pray for our marriage because even children even whatever to touch the core the core of of, of everything which is marriage mm -hmm. so we always pray for peace in our marriage once once we speak about our marriage nothing should be should be out of place yeah. um I think Baba has covered has covered me a cool. Um, in, in purity, you cannot um, like we were saying, Uti, what you sow, you will reap. Mm. So it is an aroma unto the Lord. Mm. It is a sweet and a fragrance unto yeah. God. Mm. Yeah. And when God is pleased with the sacrifice, mm. it is good yeah. for the for, for the one who was sacrificing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, um in, in terms of waiting on the Lord. In, in waiting, I find mm. because sometimes I can say wait on the Lord. Mm. That's what not. That's not what you are waiting for. Mm. Yeah, but and come you are not gonna get married. That's the truth of the matter. Mm. Um, while I'm waiting, should I not get what I'm waiting? 
Mm. Let it be all unto the glory of the Lord. I'm going to be a period of time set. What is sure it happens? My figure lag. Give me a plan. I've been waiting. Yeah, but you're waiting. Yeah, but I'm be renewed. Yeah, and it's renewed. And God is not patient with time like we are. Mm-hmm. He's not. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, in terms of, of warfare, um, one thing um, the Lord taught us, Wuti, the enemy is the devil. It's not people. Yeah. If if Vugela, it's not people, it's the enemy. Mm-hmm. You have one enemy, Amen. and it's not human beings. Amen. If if Zobe says something and gives what you have it and that's a comment I'm gay. I must remember what the one person against this marriage is the devil. Mm-hmm. My husband loves me. Mm-hmm. He wants us to build this marriage. Mm-hmm. So I have to find a way. You would see, um, after having prayed, the communication comes in the lab while we are tackling this. What see, he mustn't be defensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you must realize it was okay. I was wrong here. Mm-hmm. In matter of what it says, pigs are so bad. We must realize what it la the enemy against us. So bad yeah. is the devil. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In closing, can you guys share as a unit what's in the body of Christ in Joban Shadile? How would you guys like to be remembered as like like married people? <laughs> and then Something that Kalan go to Uma, Figa, Shuti, as Umama, Nina, I want to be remembered as five and two and three in the body of Christ. The Bible is the same thing, and then something. And that's not my only combined answer. Wuti, as a married couple, how do you guys want to be remembered as in the body of Christ? <laughs> well, as Unoma Mzobe, um, I want to be remembered as a woman who was sold out for God. Mm-hmm. In every aspect, in every way, I if if anything can be remembered of me, is that I was sold out for God. Um, I died and Christ lived. Yeah. That's 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 one something. That's a goal. I wake up every morning. I I work on. Yeah. I must die and Christ lives. Yeah, yeah that's 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 it. Yeah. And it happens that in our combined, <laughs> in our combined. Um, Goal is how we want to be remembered. Yeah. yeah, I also want to be remembered for being a slave for Christ. Uh, yeah, um, when I grew up, I always wanted to build visible monuments and things yeah. that are visible that I was remembered with, but there's a heritage that is greater. Mm. Yeah, that one is being remembered for having served Jesus Christ to the fullest fullest capacity and I'm just um, remembering with you David so there are a lot of things that David does in his life mm-hmm. the city of Zion was called the city of David here the city but I bala when the founder and because all those things he did as a slave unto God mm-hmm. So it doesn't mean we're not gonna build businesses, we're not gonna build big houses, we're not gonna drive cars, we're not gonna build mansions, but all must be done with posture of being a slave unto God. Congo Congo we Ah, we don't own anything in this earth, in this world. Yeah, nothing matters. Nah. I always say maybe my kids will be like. Baba, why he didn't have great things from his But if if they they grow up, they will realize what I built something permanent for yeah, them. Sure, yeah. sure. And that is a spiritual heritage. Um, yeah, so we just wanna be remembered for serving Christ. You know, sometimes it it got us into trouble with families and with <laughs> friends, what is, and there's always tomorrow where are you rushing to? Why are you doing all of this? Why are you not having fun? Why are you spending all your time at church? Yeah. Why are you praying this much? Why every day you always talk about God? Hey, yeah, but all unto the glory of God. We are laboring towards that. We have not went there as yet. We are not there yet. Yeah. We wanna be like Enoch, he walked with God until he was noble. Yeah. 
Yeah, our kids, I want them, we want them to know us for serving God. Thank you.